Hi again then guys, and so we've got another Gran Turismo 6 top speed tune for you today. And this time it's for the Pikes Peak Spec Lexus ISF CCSR. So you want your racing soft tyres. For suspension we've got the ride height on 100, front and rear. Springs we've rounded off to 1875 and 1725. Dampers and anti-roll to 4. Camber on 2.5, neutral toe as always. For the gearbox, we've got an auto setting of 230, then we've rounded off the individual gears to 4075, 2735, 1995, 1515, 1200, 985 and 840, with a final drive of 2.5. For the diff, we've got the low initial torque as always, high acceleration and low braking, all the power upgrades obviously, and of course you want your downforce set as low as possible and your stage 3 weight loss. Traction control is also turned off as usual. And so for some reason, and it's not just to do with aerodynamics because the wing doesn't make that much of a difference, but for some reason they've chosen to portray this car in Gran Turismo as being significantly slower than the road version. Now it's definitely not a slow car but for its power, you would expect a lot more. The cruising speed on this car is just over 220, which, as I said, isn't slow. But the road version does around 260 and has the same power, virtually the same weight and pretty much the same gearbox. So for some reason, they've chosen to really hold this car back. Now, it may well have a flat floor, and obviously that really hinders top speed on Gran Turismo. For any who are unfamiliar with the effects of a flat floor, you never want to fit a flat floor to any top speed vehicle. It always slows you down. And I don't know if they've got a flat floor on this car. I think it probably does. And I think that's probably the reason why the top speed isn't anywhere near the road version. But overall, like I said, it's the performance is okay on this car. I tried a few different setups to get better top speed out of it to try and get it the same as the road car, but it's just not happening. You just cannot get that kind of speed out of this car. Now, this is still a highly usable top speed tune, especially considering that at the end of the day, technically, this is a rally car. Because the Pikes Peak, although it's now fully tarmacked, is technically a rally track. So the ISF CCX, or CC, <laughs> that's a Koenigsegg, CCSR, is technically a rally car. So among rally cars, it is actually one of the quickest. Now in terms of draft potential, as you can see, we're still in sixth gear. This is of course a seven speed race gearbox. And you should be able to get probably around 235, 240 ish out of it in sixth gear. And then obviously you've got all of seventh gear to use just for draft. So in seventh, I think you should probably be able to draft this car up around the 270, 280 region easily. Because although it's not that fast on its own, it has more than enough power and torque to get those kind of speeds with Slipstream. And being a racing version of the ISF, which itself is already a really good handling car, unsurprisingly this car handles its speed really, really well. Unfortunately you cannot fit NOS to it. so. How competitive it's going to be at top speed racing, I can't guarantee. But again, if you're going to put it up against other rally cars, they don't have NOS either. So it could potentially be quite a competitive machine within its own little niche. But overall, you don't see that many people using this car as a top speed racer. It tends to be more of a track car, which is understandable. But for those of you guys who do choose to use this tune, I hope you find it helpful. I hope you find it competitive within its little niche. And if you did find it helpful, feel free to subscribe. I put out new top speed tunes every day. And as always, thanks for watching.